Free disclaimer. Hello everyone, let me ask you this question. What is the best unicorn release? Well, in this video, as we have unicorn, 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 unicorno, and unicorno. Now, before we continue with this video, obviously make sure to comment which is your favorite bay from whatever generation, or which one do you just like, you know, give me your preferences. And check out mallofbays.com because we, we have some Beyblade X pre-orders. And not only that, we also have Beyblade Burst stuff. Please, get the Beyblade Burst stuff. Get, free, free it from my hands. It's an optional way to support the channel. I appreciate any support regardless. It does keep the channel alive, so. Okay, so obviously, you know, we're gonna get this whole thing started now. Alrighty. We're gonna get started with our first round. Already a good hit. I really hate the name Striker for it. I know that it was like they they can't they couldn't actually use the word unicorn. I I, I guess God damn it, even even unicorno, but you know what an odd name. It's kind of funny because that means people only kind of recognize this bay as being called Striker, and part of me uh, really despises uh, that reality. Okay, well this is really close. I'm gonna give that to MFB because that was a little, a little close for comfort. A little close for comfort. Alrighty. Here's the the, the secret with uh, this Beyblade X stuff. The thing is that Beyblade X they got pretty good shapes, but the thing is it's always the height difference. So, oh damn! Okay, hey hey, let us go. Okay, well I. Unicorno for the win <laughs> via KO. Uh, if only they were gonna remake this bay. I'm just kidding. That would be a slot I would not care about. Kind of funny though. It didn't make it to the remake set, but it didn't make it in the poll. Not in the top ten, anyways. Which actually, you wanna know? I probably, if I'll, if I'll be honest, you probably could have just ignored it. You probably could have ignored like the 40 evolutions and then I've just given it to that one. Or maybe Blitz. Don't know how many Blitz fans there are. I mean, actually, Blitz is a cool unicorn, though, in this case. Okay, after a long struggle, we are getting through these matches ever so slowly. Okay, and we've gotten our revenge, it seems. Okay, let's see how it does now. Okay. It's gonna fail. Okay, honestly. Yeah, you know, at the point we are now, I feel like it'll be Unicorno, and then after I'll do one more, and then after it'll be Unicorno again. And then we can hit up Blitz, because after that, the burst ones are fodder, so in reality, this video is really just against the Metal Fight ones, but I'm throwing the burst ones along for the ride. I do want to also say, right, because I know there's going to be those comments, if for whatever reason there's some plastic gin equivalent of a unicorn, I don't want to break it. Okay, so this is whoever wants it more. <laughs> well, I guess, uh, I guess that's it. Alrighty then, the next unicorn bay. We're gonna do uh, our love. Oh, I hate how this is aligned. Well, I'm not gonna bother. Blitz Unicorno. It's my authentic one. Shout out to them giving Blitz a four. You know what's funny is that, okay, so basically this isn't the 40 season. This is like the season after Metal Masters, the second season. And part of what I hate about Metal, uh, the Metal Sog is that they never really made a lot of new content for like the bottom parts. So like Blitz Unicorno just recycles the Ray Gill stock, and I I I kind of thought that that's a little bit a little bit boring, a little bit boring. Which hey, credit to where it's due for Burst. Burst definitely gave a lot more variety. Okay, amazing. Now we put it in the clapped mode. We're gonna put it in the better mode now. I still appreciate. Oh, I just realized. Look at how old this is, but like the inner part is shiny. This is, uh, this feels so weird. It's like the inner part, god damn it, I just put it in the same mode again. The inner part of it is mint. 
No, you have to you have to synergy it. Hold on, sorry, I have not done this in a long time. I appreciate that. Listen, if they remade this one into Beyblade X, this would. It's gonna miss. Um, I definitely really like Blitz Unicorno, not just because um, Blitz is way cooler than any impact Ray ever had, or or even the clear rail just being way better. It just looks good. It just looks good. Okay, so it seems that Ray Unicorno did somehow way better than the 40 counterpart. Okay, I'll alternate uh, who's launched to maybe see if we get any luck or if this is just uh, clapped city. It's probably clapped city. It's it's probably clapped. Oh, sorry. Give me one second. It's this this uh, stupidity with this thing. Alrighty. What happens? Who wins? I think it makes more sense anyways that it'll lose like this because the height is not good for it. In this case, it, it just smacks low and then after it just destabilizes it. Oh, now I get to do against the burst ones. I don't even hate, actually, you all know what? The burst ones, at least visually, they look really awesome. Probably, uh, was it Yuki? I'm pretty sure. This is cool. Fantastic. Well, now it's it's games the game, right? Now it's games the game. Whoever wants it more. Please, just end my misery. <laughs> Finish the battle. Um, the original one was actually uh, pretty solid. I think it was like, what? Uh, I think it was like, yeah, just defense because of the shape. They made the other one, the sequel one, dumb because they made him far more jagged. The resistance wasn't crazy. And the, the idea was like the horn should counter slash it. And this is why Beyblade Burst sucks for design for having it burst on the layer. Because conceptually, it's not a bad idea. It's just the burst system sucks. I have to nerf launch this. If I don't nerf launch this, it's 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 gonna either break it or, you know, worse. We're not trying to kill these burst bays. Probably. At least not this one. This one's in a three pack. I don't want to kill it that bad. Okay. Very obviously, it lost. Now we're gonna try serious. <laughs> Please burst and die before it kills you. Maybe it won't even be that bad. God, I really hate that sound because that sound scares me. No. Okay, yes, burst. Well, it, it at least was cool. At least was cool. I also love how all of them incorporate kind of this jagged, well, I mean, this one kind of takes from the burst one where it kind of incorporates this jagged design into the horn. I think that's really clever. I really love to see how their design philosophy evolves when they kind of do these bays. Yeah. There goes the burst one, and then after the middle fight one stays because it was in the center the whole time. Yep. That seems about right. Alrighty, MFB, I guess MFB for the win! MFB for the win! I would do more, but I'm too afraid to break one of these things on the three-way battle, so that's unfortunately all we get for this episode. Alrighty, final thoughts! Uh, you know, it, it kind of is how you would expect it to be, you know, Ray Unicorno probably will take the win, then after Blitz, because it's a little hide, and because of the rubber, you know, it'll die off, and then after the burst, or the burst ones. But, 
Now, as we're going to be ending off this video, in the comment section, let me know if you got a favorite preference to the bays. Uh, I already gave mine. But that'll be it for now. So thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.